Were you bummed when the roast kind of went away? Did that bum you out? No, I was. I was. Uh, I was, was happy so, to do was three such a and then done. Perch for you. Yeah, and it was. I mean, it was all I wanted to do. I was like building my act towards getting on that. The Trump roast was like my big break. My life was night and day after that. Then the Sheen roast came like a couple months later. It wasn't that long. And that was even bigger. And that I felt insane pressure because I was like, well, that was my big break. And I had, those were jokes that I'd been working on forever. Mm. Now I've got four months. It's, this is my sophomore album that could tank. And I didn't want it to seem like, oh, I got lucky. So that roast was so stressful. And then it was like an, a year until the Roseanne was my last one. And that was a letdown. It wasn't have the same uh, po- like hype to it that Trump and Sheen had. Yeah. Like the next, I remember I had a show the next weekend and like the tic- it, ticket sales were just normal. Like it wasn't like I didn't get the bump that I got after Sheen and Trump. And I was like, you know, I don't really want to do this anymore. It's like, it's just not fun telling the same kinds of jokes. And I didn't approach it like Jeff Ross, who was just like, Jeff Ross could do it forever right. to anyone. No one's getting mad. He's just perfect at it. My thing was like too, like Darth Vader. Like I was coming to kill everyone there. And it just, it, I didn't want to do it again. Mm. That people ask me every now and again, I'm like, it would take, it would take a lot. It would be, it would have to be money because I just feel like I've done it. And I feel like I did it perfectly. Right. That to come back, it just, I feel the pressure. Mm. You know, I feel the pressure to perform. Like the audience might be there to see me and they've loved my last four hours, but this fifth hour better measure up or right. I feel terrible. So yeah, it's, ah. just, it's just hype. Yeah. And I guess once you do something and doing it well, then that's enough. Knowing when to not do something anymore is important. Mm-hmm. Do you think Comedy Central, how'd they mess up? I mean, they were com- they were the only comedy network. Viacom fucked it up for everybody at a time when Disney was buying Marvel, at a time where Disney was buying, you know, like Warner Brothers, all this shit. Yeah. Viacom was just like enriching themselves. They weren't investing. And then when streaming came along, they just wiped them all out. But like MTV's gone. And Comedy Central is still technically around, but it's like five people now. And they're not getting to stand up that maybe things come back a little bit, but it was just the, and I've talked to many, many people over there over the years about what happened, but it is it's crazy though. Like you were the comedy network. Mm-hmm. You had comedy. Yeah. I remember it took them forever to get into like social. They just didn't, they were like so behind somehow. So behind. Yeah. just didn't, didn't really care that much. Didn't have to, but they're figuring it out now. And they made some, ba- they just didn't have. They didn't have that good a pay. Like, they only had a few shows that really crushed it for them, I think, mm-hmm. you know? And they wouldn't pay. Like, to get three seasons was almost impossible. Even two was like a stretch. I mean, look, it's like SNL. You see the people who, like, didn't get S- who, like, auditioned for SNL and didn't get or got fired after a year, mm-hmm. you know? And their careers, how amazing it's been, like a Sarah Silverman or something. Um, that uh, Comedy Central is the same way. It's like all these huge stars that, like, people think Comedy Central let them go. It's like they couldn't afford them. Yeah, what John Oliver's what um not John John Oliver's making on HBO versus what he made on Comedy Central is insane. Uh, Stephen Colbert, you know, had to leave at Comedy Central. They just didn't have the money there. Yeah, Schumer owed the, uh, Amy Schumer owed them another season, I think, of her show. I don't know if she ended up doing it or not. But I remember, she had the what is this show called? Inside Amy Schumer. Inside Amy Schumer. I think they contractually had one more season that she was supposed to do because then she just blew up so much that she just didn't. And maybe they just did like a buyout of it or something. No, I just she, remember. She did it. She did one for Paramount Plus. Oh, she did. Oh, maybe that was it then. Yeah. Maybe that was it. Um, I was. I have friends who would like sign a deal, get paid, and then like hope the network forgets about it. Oh, yeah. Was like, like Quibi? Really remember Quibi? Oh, yeah. God, I wish I had taken a deal from them. This free, this free money deal? <laughs> oh, yeah. dude. Yeah. They're like, yeah. here's a hundred grand. Three weeks later, they were totally out of business. Like, what's the best job you've ever had in terms of that? Like, for me, it was uh, judging roast battle, mm-hmm. where it was just like every night I go, I show up. Oh yeah. Like you're, 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 they're they're paying you amazing, and you don't have to prepare anything. You just sit there, and then they do their bit, and then you you think of a joke and you say it, and then it's, everything looks great. And if you mess up, they edit it out. Like it's so cool, zero pressure, mm-hmm. paid paid uh, a ton, and uh, and just so much fun. I love that. That was, yeah, one of the best jobs I ever had actually was a Comedy Central job. It was called um, Reality Bites Back. I watched I watched Reality Bites Back. Uh, Amy had it all on like DVD and we watched it. Oh, it's it, so good. The show was so fucking funny. I can't believe it didn't, uh, like no one watched it, but it was, it was great. I can't believe they didn't start to re-air things that they had that were great, but I guess they don't have, is that a fiscal, uh, maybe they have to re-rent it from themselves? I don't know how that works. I think just no one watched it. No one was watching it. If they would rerun it, they were just like, let's let's get rid of this. But it had like Schumer's on it, uh, and, uh, Tiffany Haddish, Burt Kreischer. Like if they put it out now, it seemed like it would do fine. Yeah, you would think. You know? 
it's it's weird how comedy doesn't live that long. Mm. Even if it is all like the stars of yesterday, people just they'd rather watch you now. But it's like I can watch like uh Summer Heights High, right? Have you ever seen mm-hmm. that? Oh yeah. And uh and it'll it still get it's still like so ridiculous. it still gets me. But it's like I mean, one of the best shows Comedy Central ever made was um Strangers with Candy. And they never reran that, like ever. You have to like you had to find it on I, I used to buy it on eBay. Yeah. I'd buy like a season on eBay of someone who burned like the DVDs. That shit was amazing. My favorite roast of all time was the roast of Chevy Chase. Mm. The one that was like a fiasco. But it's like Todd Berry, Andy oh. Kindler, like Mark Marin of the Roasters, and it's so fucking awesome. But it tanked. And they like Comedy Central was just like, we threw it away. Like you can if you can find it on YouTube, go for it. But we don't have a copy of it. We'll never rerun it. And we just got rid of it. That's crazy. It seems like if you put the roast of Chevy Chase on a f- network TV right now, people would tune in. Like, what do you think about like our Netflix specials? Like things we've done. There's no physical media anymore. Like that can all go away, and you're left with like nothing. Nothing. And that's wild to me that a corporation who knows what you get canceled for, but they can just be like, all your work is gone. It's gone as if it never existed. And there's nothing you can do. Nothing. Oh, it's very scary. I think, you know, I went to the last Blockbuster not long ago. Where's that? It's in Bend, Oregon. Yes. And I have an ex-girlfriend that lives up there, and it's a beautiful town. And uh, and I went in there, and you know what was fascinating, the most fascinating was how you used to see, you saw so many titles. Mm-hmm. You're over here, it's like in Bruges, and here's like, you know, uh, Daddy Daycare or whatever. You know, here's like, you know, uh llama town or whatever and it's like oh fuck i you don't know what to choose but you see so, i mean you were here and then you were in and you'd walk through you'd be like i oh i forgot about this movie this is great i've never seen this but it was so different than when you go to a platform on your television and you see 10 titles it was another it felt like you actually here's what it felt like i'm realizing it felt like you actually had a choice in what you were choosing mm-hmm. in the blockbuster right then as opposed to on the TV where it feels like this is what you we're, we're serving today. Mm-hmm. Even though it's not it, you can go look for stuff, but it's just not, it, what, it didn't register the same. No, and it's, it's even annoying where Netflix, I don't know if they still do this, but like if they know you're, something's right up your alley, like they have all your algorithm, whatever. There was a movie that came out like a couple years ago, right before my like last special came out. Now, so I was talking to Netflix at the time. And have you ever seen The Night Comes For Us? Mm-mm. Did you ever see The Raid or The Raid 2? It's kind of like a martial, like a super violent martial arts movie where okay. people are just fighting with like machetes and shit, and it's awesome. And I see it, and I'm like, this is the best fucking thing I've ever seen. Mm. Why wouldn't Netflix tell me, hey, good news, we got this new movie for you? And so it, they told me basically, if they know you're gonna see it, if they know like this is right up your alley, they won't put it on your screen because they know you'll go look for it, and they want you to find other things on your way to it. That's like you can't. They know what you want. But they're still going to make you look for it, and that makes me fucking crazy. 